Hi everyone, I'm Caitlin Huey Burns coming to you from our Washington DC Bureau. It's good to be with you. Thank you for joining us. Here's a look at some of the stories we're watching right now. Denials and rebuttals following testimony from Cassidy Hutchinson, a former aide to White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows, about the January 6th insurrection. What more we're learning from Tuesday's January 6th hearing and where the investigation could go from here. A criminal investigation against a former attorney to President Trump is ramping up. The latest on the investigation into John Eastman and what it could mean for the January 6th inquiry. After Russia's military assault on Ukraine, the United States is poised to make its most significant military expansion in Europe since the Cold War, where President Biden is putting a permanent troop presence and when we could see the NATO alliance expand. And later this hour, following the Supreme Court's reversal of Roe v. Wade, political parties are retooling for a series of contests ahead of the midterms. We'll speak with strategists from both sides of the political aisle about how significant an issue they're expecting this to be and how to engage voters on it. Plus, after the deaths of dozens of migrants in an overheated truck, a political battle is on the southern border. Why Governor Abbott started and stopped truck inspections and how the Biden administration is dealing with a massive influx of attempted crossings. We begin with a continued firestorm of reaction to Tuesday's January 6th committee hearing and the testimony of Cassidy Hutchinson, a former aide to White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows. She